Welcome to the She Rich and Reality Show. What's up, soldiers? This is for my men out here. I want to say something to minority men or whatever that's out here in these inner cities and all that. Listen, expect an ex convicts and etc. Out here in this world, if you have a dream, so let's say you're a rapper, you're an entertainer, I don't care. You know, even if you got a job, whatever, okay? These days and time, when you meet a woman, it's nothing wrong with a man taking care of a woman because that's what we're supposed to do. But we live in a state where they make it hard for the men out here. They let the weak men, yeah, they let them roam around because they, they, they're not a threat. Um, they let the women roll around because they're not really a threat. The women got what they need. So, therefore, and the men that also up on to the rules, like they go by what they told, you know what I mean, what to do, whatever. The men that's rebels, the men that want their own things like that, listen to me. We are going to go through some things. So when we find a woman, we find a woman that also that, that's interested in us. And not saying we ain't interested in them, but a woman that's interested in us is more better. You know, because like I remember before I'm out here and I cracked on a woman before. And she was like, why are you going to ask me for your phone number? I said, no, shorty, here's my number. If you're interested, you'll call me. I find it today, if a woman interested in you, she'll call you. And that's the ones that you want to be with. And the one that's going to help you build and not take from you. You know what I'm saying? If you had $600 in your pocket and she did see a nice bag, she might say, babe, I like that bag. And you might say, oh, well, all right, baby, we can probably get that bag. And a couple weeks go by and you happen to surprise and give it to her. That's fine. And you help her out. But you want a woman that's going to say, baby, no problem. Let's go pay these bills. That's, you know, what you need help. When we take you here, you want to do something, let's help each other out. That's how it is. The day is time. Women say, you got yours. I got mine. And all that crazy mentality shit. That shit don't operate for a long thing. I'm going to tell you what that calls. That calls baby mamas. And that calls baby fathers. And that calls people to break up within a year or two and all that shit. And next thing you know, you're dating the next person. There are marriages that's out here that lasts for 15, 20 years who go by the old customer, old rules. And not only that, even if they did budge into the little rules, they did that after the fact. You know what I'm saying? So that's my message to the men that's out here that's want to uh, obtain some strength. You know what I'm saying? Every man run a household different. So you might accept one thing like, you know, you might when your girl with tights on run around the house and everything else. You might have a man who don't, if the woman is upstairs, she don't come downstairs. It's different men take your shoes off when you come in the house. It's different men that say, I don't care where you go at. You can go over to your girlfriend's house, I don't care. And you do whatever you want to do. You come home and do whatever. You got some men that say, where the fuck you at? It's different men that do different things. So for the men that's out here, represent doing what we're doing and stop feeding these chicks out here just giving them money and all that and just telling them, no, they got to work for shit. It's like we got to work for shit. And my thing is that they think it's a freebie world. They run around here looking for motherfuckers that, that, that's, 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 that's weak. You know what I'm saying? They really Some women out here want men motherfuckers that weak. They want them easy dudes, those tender dick dudes, whatever you want to call them. You know what I'm saying? Because those are the ones, oh, baby, I'll give you this. I'll give you the world. Now, except when they come into a major player like me, we arguing. We going back and forth because they don't see that. They want a nigga that they can run around in circles. You know what I'm saying? It's some weak ass men and all that. They want just that and the third. But us to us type A men, we know what we want. We can be called narcissists. We can be called all this bullshit psychology shit that they got going on. Because you're a man. And and, and I say that we write all the time. No, we can be wrong. But if I see what fit, and one plus one equals two, and I know how to sacrifice and live nice and and I know how to make these moves and all that. Like, somebody can't tell me nothing. But add to the pot. Like, baby, look. Why don't we start looking at this? Or let's start doing that. And women that communicate. You need that these days. You know what I'm saying? A woman that has less communication, she's going to leave you stuck. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of things, y'all men, y'all can understand with these phones. Y'all keep talking about a girl having her phone. You having yours. That shit ain't sweet because let me tell you something, dog. Yeah, trust is trust. They throwing that in the air. But best believe when she parked up some motherfucker where she in the corner. And best believe she on somebody's Facebook. <laughs> she on somebody's Instagram. She on somebody's shit. She liking somebody's page. You know what I'm saying? 
you got some people. Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? So you don't want it to happen, whatever, man. But I'm just trying to tell you, man. Crabs in the closet, motherfuckers wouldn't even tell you some shit that they had spooked all up. You find out shit after the fact. So I just speak on real, real existence about what's going on. That's why Chris Brown said these bitches ain't loyal. Like, listen, I'm just trying to tell you, when you find a woman, you find you a good girl, and you know what's up, and you're doing it. And even the good girls, you got to watch out for them, because they the sneakiest ones, because, you know what I'm saying? So, all, all men, you, you got to look at your shorty one day, be like, that. is she the really one? Well, you'll know about the moves she make. You know what I'm saying? Because women, they want stuff, too. They want stability. You know what I'm saying? They'll use, what's women out here that they use you? Because you got a good-ass job, and you got good-ass hair. You know what I'm saying? Or you... This, that, they have, man, trust me. You know what I'm saying? So these days and time, us men got to wake up and, and you know, and, and start telling women, like, listen, like, what's wrong with a man getting treated to dinner once in a while? You know what I'm saying? We men, we do take it, but, but these days and time, if y'all going to mix it up, mix it up to where everybody's the building. If I ain't got it, she got it. If she ain't got it, I got it. You understand what I'm saying to you? That's how you do that shit. And I'm giving people the game, like you know what I'm saying? Because I don't understand what's going on out here with, with all this crazy shit, you know, chick. I went and check a chick out one time, and I went and brought her like a medium-sized uh, thing. She asked me, can I upgrade it? I'm like, well, damn, shit, you ain't happy with what I got? It was a movie one time, uh, Disappearing Acts, and I shout out to Wesley Snipes. Um, in the movie, uh, he ain't have much, but he brought the girl some tickets. That was her birthday. It was a dude out there selling tickets. So she was like, baby, please. So she got the tickets that was in the front row. He took his tickets and ripped it and said, look, what my tickets ain't good for you. And what the fuck? And then you got some women that, you know, they want to keep you a certain way, man. Because, of course, they don't want girls looking at you. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, sometimes as a man, you don't want your girl looking all crazy and a little fly to where everybody bothering her. You know what I mean? You thinking she trust me, man. I done seen it. It's like dudes in jail, right? They got girl pictures of chicks. And they be like, hold up, I know her. Yeah, you know her because she got the same player just like you. You know what I mean? She wants somebody just in that game too, that lane. And that's how I go. It's like rappers, they might date somebody's wife and then they break up. Then somebody else go to somebody else. Then they got them. Then they got this. Like, it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? That's just like, all right, let's say a dude fuck with my old ex. And I said, you know what? I'm going to fuck his BM just because, like, he fuck with my shorty. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're going to handle it. We're going to have it. Let's have it. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I'm just I'm just being realistic, man. And this your boy, she from the She Rich Reality Show. So my reality show is real reality, man. Y'all got to understand that. You know what I'm saying? So let's just keep in mind, man, out here, like, you know, to have these chicks start coughing up shit, man. Or start looking out. And they the ones that you want to look back out for. I ain't saying just take them like money and you don't look out for them. No, you want somebody that's supportive, man. That look out. Man, you, you cool even with family. You don't want no family to just drain your pockets and just taking your shit. You want people that's around you that is going to help you out in your situation. And you can help them out. You can help each other out. You know what I mean? That, yo, you got me, I got you. How we supposed to rule? You know what I mean, if a nigga get booked, if a nigga was out here breaking his neck, you know what I mean, looking out for the shortest neck, he said it. Look, shorty, I'm in this game. I might get booked. But don't leave me hanging, though. You know what I'm saying? They get booked like you drop him off to some funk. No, don't leave him hanging because he played his part. So you understand what I'm saying? So, like, a lot of people try to hide that shit under the cover, man. You know what I'm saying? And uh, these women out here, they just thinking, like, you know, it's, sir, I've been around bosses, man. They, they be like, yeah, uh, I need this done and this, that, and that, and they take care of it. You know what I'm saying? That's how you're supposed to do stuff. Anyway, she bull she from the She Rich Reality Show. You know, I talk my shit, go down the line and see what type of uh, category I got going on. You know what I'm saying? A message for the men, man, the soldiers, man. It's man up out here, man. Do what we do. And uh, make sure you bring somebody that's going to ride and bring something to the table and not take from you, man. Cause I hate to even, listen real quick. I hate to, I, I know one brother, right? He out here, he was out here on a weekend working for trans passes. He was working out here for his daughter to have his kids, all this and that. And he did all that. And then the wife turned around. She got her little job and she shit on him. Like, 
I mean, I know it's other problems that the man could be doing. I'm not knocking it. But what I'm saying to you, sometimes these women just forget where they came from, man. You know what I'm saying? That's real shit. And if they do it to the other person, best believe they'll do that shit to you too. Anyway, go ahead and feel good and while we up and we have a good time, man. We're in the 2021 is coming. All I say is between time and the meantime, I holler.